And so now one thing that you guys might not have noticed this whole time when I walked around and showed you this tractor was that there's no weights actually on this tractor. This thing weighs 63,000 pounds right out of the factory. No foot on the clutch when you're starting these versatile tractors. Easy to walk around. And clean any windows that we need, access any points on the tractor that we need. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Austin, and I work at Full Line Ag, a farm equipment dealership located here in the beautiful province of Saskatchewan, Canada. And today, I am here in Purdue, actually just in my office, and we got a very special video for you. It's been long awaited, and here's a little hint. But anyways, in the showroom here, we can see we only have one zero turn left here because it has been raining and that means grass has been growing. So we got one zero turn and one of the GCs. Hi, Radar. You just a little kitty, hey? You just a little kitty. Anyways, I guess you guys probably saw from the title of this video, we're talking versatiles and we're talking the Delta tracks. And then we got this beauty, brand new one. This one actually just showed up from the factory earlier this week, a 2021 Versatile Delta Track 610. So it is now actually the next morning. It was a little too windy last night and I didn't have my little microphone to block out that wind. So I decided to come back bright and early this morning and get this video taken now. I'm gonna quickly throw on my versatile bunny hug because it's a little bit colder out than I was expecting. So the cool thing that's gonna be with this video is I spent all of seeding in a versatile and then right after seeding, I went out and rode with a bunch of customers in their versatile Delta tracks. So I got a ton of drone footage that I'm gonna be subbing in throughout this video so i hope you guys enjoy it and let me know what you think of the drone videos First thing I'm going to talk about with these versatile tractors and the Delta tracks is the pulling power. And people want to know how the pulling power is, what it's all about, and a little more about it. So we're going to start up front here with the 610 being powered by a 14.9 liter X15 Cummins engine producing 610 horsepower. So that is our heart and soul of this versatile tractor. But paired to that, we have a cat transmission with 16 forward and four reverse gears. Well, 
What else makes this versatile tractor extremely special with its pulling power? And that is our fuel tanks. On these versatiles, the fuel tanks are right in the middle of the tractor, allowing the ballasting throughout the day to remain the exact same. I'm breaking that down even more. So we're gonna fill up our tractor right at the start of the day. And our weight is exactly where it should be. But since our fuel tanks are in the middle, as that fuel drains down, our weighting is not changing from the front to the back because it's right in the middle. If our fuel tanks were on the back of the tractor, it'd be a little bit of a different story because as that fuel level depletes, our weight on the back of the tractor is gonna be changing. So our fuel tanks on the middle of the tractor, allowing ballasting to remain the same throughout the entire day. Now, when we look at the back of this versatile tractor, this is the next part that really helps with our pulling power. And as simple as it is, it is this draw bar. So this draw bar connects right to our center point of our tractor, meaning that when we are pulling an implement or pulling our big 80 some foot drill and big cart, we're actually pulling right from the middle of our tractor. That is optimizing getting our power to the ground. Pulling right from the center point of our tractor, not pulling from our back end, right from the middle. So we're optimizing getting our power to the ground, allowing us to pull those big drills and carts a little bit easier than the next guy. We are running our 100 I think it's 103 gallon per minute flow hydraulics on the back here. We also have on this Delta track, we have our four point cab suspension. And this really allows for a nice, nice ride in these tractors. Here we can get a little bit better of a look at that cab suspension. And it's over there on the other side as well. This model is actually paired also with your reversing fan. Now, I guess the last few really important things on the outsides of these Delta tracks, not only being that they are such a good looking tractor with that red, yellow, and black, but it's actually to do with this track system. So with these versatile Delta tracks and these versatile tractors, we have outboard planetary axles, which allows for easy maintenance and easy serviceability for your tractor. We can also see these large idler wheels, these large bogey wheels, and these bogey wheels are actually double axis bogey wheels. So they will move all which ways to allow a really, really smooth drive down the field. So now the part that you've all been waiting for is me to get in this cab and bump my head. Well, I'll tell you what, it's not gonna happen for me. All jokes aside though, that is one of the biggest complaints that people give about these versatile Delta tracks. So I wanted to address it. And for me, it's not the biggest deal. Um, I always just stand on the first step or else the second step and crouch. Even I've done the third step and I just crouch down when I'm getting in. It is all worth it because you get in this cab and there is just so much space. This is by far 
one of my favorite parts about these versatile tractors. You have so, so much room. You can have a huge cooler right here. You can kick your feet out this way. And you also have such good visibility. Nice leather buddy seat in this tractor, not anywhere near your actual operating seat. So you can have someone sitting in here, you're not bumping up against them. They are extremely comfortable. And then also, I've seen lots of pictures on social media of guys driving their Versatiles with their kids in it. And their kids are playing on the floor. My buddy, Dallas, his daughter, she sleeps on the floor when he's seating. She's in there with him and he said, I have a cooler in there, all this, and he's still got tons of room. So that is one of the biggest, nicest features on these Versatiles. So these workhorses are really nice because they are so simple. You have your throttle, you have your cruise control, which you will lock in, I believe around that 1800 RPMs to lock you in your peak pulling spot. But everything is just extremely easy and it does not take long at all for you to get familiar and know how to run one of these. That, that is a big bonus if you have lots of hired men, is you can get anyone in this cab and show them it in five minutes and they are ready to go. But that is going to be it for today's video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I really enjoy you guys being here. And let me know what you think about these Delta tracks in the comments there, uh, as well as put in verse in the comments if you made it this far in this video. But we will see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching.